You are about to hear the amazing story of Louis Zamperini. Louis was a troubled kid. He ran from the police and he ran from his problems. Louis became such a good runner, he joined the track team and set records in high school and in college. He even ran in the 1936 Olympics. Louis joined the army as a bombardier. His plane crashed in the ocean where he floated on a raft for 47 days with almost no food and very little water while surviving storms and man-eating sharks. He was rescued by the enemy and put into a prison camp where he was abused for over two years. When the war was over, he became angry and he drank too much and he had nightmares. But then something happened. He found joy and peace. His nightmares went away and he even went back to his enemies, the ones who abused him, and he forgave them for hurting him. This story is based on the comic book from 1956, where people called Louie by his nickname, Zamp. Chapter 1 Yay, Zamp! Look at him go! Keep going, Zamp! Way ahead! Louis Zamperini, his arms swinging wildly, his long skinny legs flashing, races along the cinder path. It's his first try in a school track meet. And for the first time in his young life, his classmates are cheering him. You won, Zamp, you won! What a race! The others never had a chance! You did it, you did it! Boy, oh boy! Surprised and embarrassed by this sudden attention, Zamp breaks away and hides under the bleachers. They cheered me. Me. Out on the field, his older brother Pete talks to the school coach. I told you he could run, coach. I'm his brother. I ought to know. He certainly won that race by a wide margin, Pete, but... Sure, I know he's the problem kid of the whole school. He's stubborn, hot-headed, and... He won't study, but if we can get him interested in athletics, maybe he'll change. He hasn't the chest or form for a runner, Pete, but he's got a lot of courage, and he did win. That evening, Pete takes his young brother in hand. Zamp, you can win a lot of races, but you have to make your grades up or you won't be eligible. Okay, I'll try. I found out today I like to run. So every afternoon after school... Faster! Faster! S don't slow down! Ouch! Pete, that switch hurts. Pete runs behind him, whacking him whenever he slows down. Day after day, the training continues. I'm getting mighty sick of your switch. Then run faster so I won't be able to reach you. Hey, come on! What's more around the track? By the end of the spring term... Tomorrow's the big race, Zamp. Think you're ready for it? Eat Mama's nice chicken cacciatore. Make you strong. Stop picking on me. I'll do all right. Zamp does better than just all right. Look at that skinny kid in the lead. He hasn't any form, but he sure can run. He wins the 660-yard run, becoming a Marine League champion. The gold medal for winning Class C competition to Louis Zamperini. That summer, Zamp's itchy feet give him a yen to wander. He hitchhikes to a distant town and enters a bull riding contest at a rodeo. Ending up with his face in the dirt and nothing to show for his efforts except a ripped kneecap. That kid sure didn't last long. Nope. He didn't stay on long enough to make any money. When he gets back home... That's a bad knee. I recommend surgery. You mean cut it, doctor? Nobody's going to operate on me. Angry and scared by the thought of an operation, Zamp runs away from home with a friend. Let's ride this freight to San Francisco. I'm tired of everyone telling me what's best for me. Me too. They climb into the boxcar and fall asleep. During the night, they hear the door close and the car move. The clickety-clack of the wheels continues through the night. In the morning, they wake up to a strange quiet. 
Ah, uh, my back is sore from this hard floor. Hey, we're locked in. And all I can see through this crack is desert. Xanth and his friends are in a dangerous predicament. Will they be able to escape that locked boxcar? Tune in next time for Chapter 2 of the Louis Zamparini Story.